Howdy sketchies, it's Megan of Hello North and today it's Art Snacks for Review Day. So normally I have an unboxing where I open the box, I act super surprised because I am, and I take a first glance at all the art supplies that are in the month's box. But this is what I got after I recorded it. That's right, there's no audio. I didn't find this out until I had filmed that whole segment and then filmed all the stuff when I was testing out the supplies. I don't know what happened. I think my mic input decided to go and crap out on me. So I'm reshooting this little intro again, but I'm not going to be doing the unboxing because I've already tested them and that's kind of fake if you just kind of act surprised. But. Let's get on to doing some artwork. As a forewarning though, I am not sponsored by Art Snacks in any way, shape, or form. All of these boxes I purchased with my own hard-earned money, but if you would like some more information on Art Snacks, you can go to artsnacks.co. You can get more information about their subscription boxes. They have two subscription boxes now, Art Snacks and Lettering Snacks, which I haven't quite tested out yet. They also have art supplies and previous Art Snacks boxes that they might still have a stock of. I would highly suggest it. It's way better than getting bills in the mail, at least for me it is. Also, just as a nice little heads up, there has been rumors that the month of September in 2017, we're not going to be just getting one Art Snacks box, we're getting two Art Snacks box. One is going to be our traditional nice little white box, and then the other one is a rumored box from another art supplies company where we get to play as guinea pigs. So I'm super excited about that, and I'm really hoping it's a whole bunch of ink, because Inktober is like right around the corner. So without further ado, let's get to doing some artwork. So let's get into it. First off, this product is the Amsterdam Acrylic Ink. I got mine in red, and this one retails for $7.95. That is a great price for how stupidly pigmented this ink is. At the top, you see it's straight out of the bottle. The middle one is 50-50, and this third one right here at the bottom is like, I would say at least 75% water. I was able to get some really great tonal differences with the ink and it was able to go really far. Now, if you've never used ink before, or if you have, you probably know that it dries fast. And if you didn't, you didn't now know. Ink dries really fast, but the nice thing about it drying so fast is that once it's dry, it's not going to pick back up. So if you like try and layer it, you're gonna be able to layer it and get a wonderful, nice gradient effect if you want and not disturb the ink that's on the first layer. This ink specifically for me was really great. High, so pigmented. I can't get over how far I was able to push this ink and still get some really nice tones. With just this really super dark red, I was able to get a really nice skin tone, that like nice little pink alive tone that I like, and I really, really enjoyed it. Definitely going to be added to my lineup for this year. All right, so let's talk about this paintbrush. I really like this paintbrush. This is the Princeton Velvet Touch Long Round Brush and Size 8. So that means everybody, we all got the same paintbrush. This one retails for $14.25 and it's definitely what I would consider the nice highlight of the box being as it's the most expensive. I'm very happy to say that Ever since I started Art Snacks, I now have a large array of paintbrushes ranging from really nice acrylic paintbrushes to watercolor brushes, and I even have a set of water of paintbrushes that I use only for ink. This paintbrush definitely going to be used for watercolor or ink. I just don't feel that it's going to be really great for acrylic, really heavy bodied stuff. Maybe if you really water it down but the velvet part of it, oh, it the, the handle feels like a velvety type of wood. I really liked how it felt. You, like, if you're an artist of any age and experience, 
you know when you hold something good in your hand that it just feels like it needs to be there. So with this paintbrush, it feels great in the hand. It is really smooth at putting down your pigment. And I mean, I just really loved it. So it is also going to be added to my Inktober lineup to be used with all of my inking supplies. And oh, it's just really beautiful. I pretty, I'm pretty sure that they probably have a whole line of different sizes and rounds and flats and shaders and whatnot. So definitely check out Princeton. I have quite a few paintbrushes from Princeton. All right, since I'm putting down this ink, we're gonna kind of go over how far this ink goes. Like I said earlier, ink dries stupid fast, so you have to work pretty quickly. But because of how pigmented it was, I was able to work fast and really push this color around on her hair. And using a layering technique, since it does dry fast, I was able to get some really nice differences in tones and shades to really kind of give a nice contrast on her hair. A lot of the times, especially with cheaper inks, I have found that they kind of almost all feel that like they're all on the same playing field, like they're all the same shade. That was not the case with this one since it's pigmented, highly pigmented. You can really water it down and really get some nice different shades or you can layer it up and get some nice dark contrast, which is what I did with the hair. Now, after I did this piece, I was just so much in love with this pic ink I used it in another piece and oh my gosh it turned out beautiful I didn't even outline like 90% of the piece like I normally do the colors just really made everything pop so definitely really love this ink so let's talk a little bit about the illustration I went ahead and did the pencil drawing before I started the video just because we didn't get any pencils in this box and I just wanted to kind of get straight to all the good stuff that we got this month. So I did this with a drafting pencil that I got in a previous Art Snacks box. Tons of Art Snacks supplies. Thank you Art Snacks! And I just used a sketch that I had in a really old sketchbook that I felt like I could really kind of expand on now. I felt like I had a good idea back then but I just didn't know what to do with it. So I really expanded on it, which is always a good thing to keep your old sketchbooks within reach because you never know when you're looking for inspiration and you look back five, ten years, even back to when you were in elementary school and you can find some really good stuff to really like jumpstart those creative juices. So pro tip, keep your sketchbooks close so you have instant inspiration from your past self. All right, so I think we're getting close. All right, I'm still putting down layering on the ink. Oh my gosh, this ink is just so fantastic. I can't, I can't not say that it is great. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I can't wait until Inktober. If you have some cool things that you plan on doing on during Inktober or have you compiled your list or are you just going free during Inktober this October, Give me a comment down below. I am doing a volume two of my monsters from last year. All right, so let's talk about this stupid, cute, oh my gosh, cute pen. This is the Zig Kokiri letter pen body plus ink. So this was a combined um, item. Combined, this retails for right around 450. So what do I mean when I say combined? Well, this pin came, there is the body, so the blue like case, and then the insert refill, which is the actual ink part. So this is kind of a new thing. I've never really seen this pin, probably because I don't have any great art stores around me. And oh my gosh, I loved it the moment that I opened it up. I was like, oh my gosh, it's a customizable pin. So everybody kind of got sent a little bit different casing and then we all got sent a extra fine nib refill insert. So the cases, it looks like you can get them in different styles. 
um, different prints and whatnot. I got mine in a cute little baby blue, and I really like the end where you can, um, you can't really see it, but at the very end when the cape, when the cap is on, you can kind of see the ink and it kind of looks a little starry. I mean, like from a graphics design and a product creation design, this pen is a nice cute little package. And if you like pens that not only work, but look pretty swag, you definitely want to check out these pens. So you can like change the refill insert. So if you like the pen casing, you can change the insert to be like, a 0.7 or a broad or a um like i'm pretty sure they probably have like a brush tip this one was the super extra fine so i was able to get those nice thin lines but if i tilted the pen just a little bit i could get almost like a nice calligraphy feel to it which i kind of achieved in like on her arm by just tilting it so overall, for the price, this pen really felt like it was a really nice steal this month. I really liked how it looked, how it just, if, oh my gosh, product, it looks so great. And the fact that you can like kind of customize it, I'm going to have to check out and see about seeing on the other cases because I like my pens to look just as fancy and work as fabulous as they look. So definitely really liking this pen and for 450 oh my gosh combined that's gonna be a um, deal sealer for me all right so our last product this month is the favor castell eco pigment fiber tip pen this retails for 360 so it is definitely another pen that um, if you're on a budget but you want some high quality stuff this is probably a good pen to take a look at we all got in our art stacks box this month a 0.7 millimeter pen it is a nice reliable fine liner so when it quits it quits out on you it's not gonna like do that little sputtering thing when you're like oh my gosh is it gonna make it this pen is going to go really far and i really like that for the price of the pen it's kind of got a funny design but it is handles really well in your hand and you can get a nice consistent line on it, which is something that when I'm looking at a fine liner, not a brush tip, I really want it to work all the way the same, like the same width. I don't want it to kind of do like a brush pen because if I want a brush pen, I'll just use a brush pen. So I really liked how this pen worked for the price 360. That's not bad. So definitely if you're working on a budget, or you're in college, this is probably a fantastic pen to pick up and test out. So this month was definitely a win for me with Inktober right around the corner. I feel like they're almost kind of like working you up to Inktober this October. Um, lots of Totobers going on right now. Um, so I really feel like all of these products are um, a great start if you've never done Inktober to add to your lineup to try and use. I definitely started after this piece started using all of these products and I'm very happy with how they have held up which is always something big for me. Sometimes after I do like reviews on supplies they might have only worked for that specific illustration. So I really am glad to say that all of these products definitely have worked outside of this review and I can't wait until Inktober is where I can use these to their limits. So I'm going in right now with Pen White. It's just a really like um, nice white color. It's very thick, so it's not gonna let any transparencies happen. I use this for a lot of stuff right now. Now, um, one thing I noticed right here at the end, I decided to put in like a red background. Ooh, do you see it? The fine tip zig pen um, found out that the ink is water based, or at least it feels water based, because there was a lot of time there that that like was drying. So, just forewarning, you might smudge it. So I really, really like how this one turned out. 
I'm stupid excited for this next month where we get some more supplies and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's a whole bunch of ink supplies to get me ready for October. If you haven't yet, smash that subscribe button and become a part of the sketchy family. Well, until next time, you guys, keep on sketching.